park path down in there. I feel like we're in a good spot. Just had some mule deer bounce off that way. So, there's stuff here. Just need to find the one we're after. Last round part out there of the shade. Last round part of the shade? Yep, the last part, that oh. last. Okay, so come in just off the left and there's a patch of dirt. Do you see the, where the shade is? Yeah, I'm looking at all four there. Okay, so he's fixing just as it, it's kind of going out of 45 just before it rounds over. Yeah. He's right at that bend. I can see his back. I just can't. I see him as yellow as like a rock, freaking rock. Almost to the left side corner. Oh yeah, I see it. Just above that little dirt patch yep. to the left. Yep, I can't tell what it is though. We could throw our bags on real quick and skirt this whole thing down to that point. Want to? It's worth a shot. Yeah. All right, let's run it. sitting all day and wait for him to come out in the evening time if he gets into that cut and we can't really see into it. we got to be getting close to being on top of him. Let's move down maybe another 150 yards and then just set up shop for the day probably right. and then we just have to wait look for movement that all we can do he still might be just moseying around right now but i feel like he's in one of those cuts and he might even be making his way for that sun hill right there but he might stay am i he might just stay sitting down <laughs> and heck it might be a cow <laughs> I couldn't tell from where. That is the only animal we've seen out here, so. What's that going on? Oh, there's one. There's a bull. He's making that ridge right there, straight across. See him, Joe? Come over here, come over here. He's walking up, you can see him, playing his day. See his body? Is he in the middle? Oh, yeah. yeah. In the, yeah. That's, that's a bull. He's going to the left. Yep. Yeah, it is. Oh, buddy, we'd shoot him. No, there's two bulls. There's another one, same size. Down the hill, see that bush that's shining real bright in the sun? Yeah. Go up to oh, the yeah. next sand spot. I see him moving or, a little Or not bit. just below the sand spot. Yeah. That other one was higher than that, right? There he goes. He's, the other one's making his way up to the sand spot right there. And the other one's down directly by that bush. There might be three little bulls over there. We just need to see where they go. If they go over that hill, go. we might lose them. This is so steep. It's gonna take us an hour to get over there. Yeah. And yet you see how fast they're moving. Uh -huh. But I feel like that's where they're going. 
right over there. Hey, we did it. <laughs> At least we found them. I'm glad we dropped our camp three miles ago. <laughs> I've slept in a bush before. I'll do it again. <laughs> All right, this is it. 22 North, kind of runs like this. From here, that purple line around there. This is the Mogollon Rim. So we are, my camper is currently parked up in this area right here. So this side has a ton of like little uh, subdivisions all through here. So just little places that have just a handful of houses and you can't really hunt around them. You have to be like half a mile from any residential area to even shoot. So most of this is like a sheer drop off. Like, so even if you see something from up here. It's about getting down there? Yeah. This side is a little better. However, some of these, uh, these points of interest with these diamond point this lookout here and there was another one I saw on my phone up in this area they're not really lookouts towers like they like picture shows you have to climb up the mountain or the hill to get to these lookouts so I figured and there's I mean you can see all the trails coming over here I mean hiking trails there's four wheeler trails and you're gonna have every goofy and doofy with a tag this week over here because I, I was told they come out of 5a because this is 5a unit and they come down in here but they'll feed over and come over here to this Mazatals wilderness however you say that but this is all like heavy stack trees so I figured uh, tomorrow morning anyway we'll come back through town and come around here and see if we can't get up maybe climb a couple of these hills and look off into this area in the morning and then we can go back for lunch and then come over, come look back over here because there's four four or five ponds they're labeled on here but you can see uh, every single one of them from up top so stuff's gonna be watering you can see all these little springs over here but you can't really see them from up top and I didn't really come over this way on that rim uh, because it's the road ends over here so it's all hiking from that side but there's a couple of hiking trails we can come down and then we can find a high vantage point to look into this we'll have a pretty light day just need water and any kind of food or snacks so we don't need any bedding equipment or nothing cool sound good <laughs> All right, let's get going. We got two and a half hours to the to the woods. Where's your daddy? 
Brothers. We're headed up to the <coughs> Fossil Springs Trailhead, which is on the west side of this unit. What happens if you see something up here? Do you just like try and find a way down? Yeah. It's all been burned. Plus it looks like a flood zone, the way that was just cut. Pretty cool spot though. But when they split off after their mating season, the lone bulls, they go to like deep dark forest. So we have high chances of us finding a couple sheds out here uh, back at that fossil trail be looking at all this on that side because we were just there where the car is uh -huh. and then we got up backed up here and looked all into this whole area but this is all more flat and then it goes to like the forest mm. so the one I was wanting to do was drive back to town and get this one maybe we could and get over it. here but that trail's here, but I don't know if we can park over here because I thought I saw a sign. But that would be just as good a trail as any because we're already here. Yeah. Let's back up. Come on. state land. According to Bear Grylls, you could rinse off the fruit pieces and eat them again. We'll get it on the way back. Yeah. Could probably technically eat that uh, tree right there too. So. Would it be a good burn if I give me the back? Yeah. Yeah. 
We can work our way around. Go back? Yeah. And then just hike up that side. Yeah, I mean, just look at look at that wall back there, though. Right, this is high looking into this, but yeah, what you'll probably be able to see is very minimal compared to if we go back over there. Maybe because there's another. This makes a hill right over there at the end of those lines. Yeah. Then we might be able to see it down that way. soil so they got in there because it almost follows this line right up through there a yucca plant crap just broke it off now there's gonna be this little piece push through but not all the way maybe Oops. I can just dull it enough that it won't like poke me. Can you push that? Cause see if you saw. Yeah, can I tried. Push it through. It's not coming through anymore. Well, it did come through a little bit more. Here's my extra <laughs> pair of gloves. <laughs> We're in the Rockies. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I just said that for the video. Oh. Wanted to look like a hero. <laughs> I'm not even close. Edit out that last part. <laughs> you just shoved this the whole head of the pliers in. No, I just pushed it. Well, push it with that. <laughs> this might actually go in. See, that's just gonna go in. It's gonna puncture it. It's already punctured. Well, it didn't take long. I like your purple socks. Thanks. <laughs> that is still fun with this one. I did. <laughs> They're super comfy. <laughs>
but even just being on the outskirts of town, just by seeing cow or elk in the town, mm -hmm. I feel like the bulls are just would hang out here and be fine. But just never know. They could really be anywhere. I mean, they could have wandered off to 20, 22 south by now. Where's that guy driving from? <laughs> Perfect. Oh man, we lost the third uh, watering hole. Unless it's just white rock. It looks like water through my yeah. Oh, just to see an elk will just give us a glimmer of hope. Uh -huh. What'd you say? Anybody want to start off with some pizza? <laughs> Probably toasted on it. That's your piece. Delivery or DiGiorno? <laughs> Make sure you get the label. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's who we need a sponsorship on. <laughs> <laughs> Fills you up and gives you the runs. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that's not how you get a sponsor? That is. Oh. Not yet. Like, oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Did you see that? Yeah, he moved it, moved the camera real quick when he saw what I was doing. <laughs> I don't watch that again. Just drinking some Jones soda. That's it. Some red Jones soda. 
That's a big red for adults. I feel like the temperature just went up about 10 degrees just since that sun came over here. I feel it on my legs. That's nice. I feel it on my face. And my hands aren't as cold. They could go that way if they're coming down that way. Or, like, what are the odds of them going all the way through town and going all the way back over by that Dead Man's Canyon? Which is where it gets more foresty. And I don't think you're going to be able to, like, see anything from the top. You just have to go, like, hiking through it and hope you stumble into one. Which is what I think we should probably do yeah. Sunday. <clears throat> if we don't see nothing around here. Like, if we were able to see one here. I feel like we could keep coming back because at least we have a, yeah, or at least you know they're here, but we might be here for maybe another hour and then we can drive back, drive farther down that way. Absolutely, the switchbacks are always easier. But there's not a switchback to get to the last hundred feet. <laughs> yeah, because it's just straight up. Yeah. No big deal. No biggie. This is like one of 20 breaks I'm taking. I'm good with that. I'm gonna take off my coat. Ah. Is that frog togs? <laughs> what brand of coat is that? Horse V E W. And that's been the only thing. <laughs> I love hunting. I love it. 
This hiking stuff is for the birds. I'm just kidding, I love hiking. Look at you. points. Uh -huh. There's all the sign up there. Some fresh, a lot of old. And uh, when I was out gun hunting, the first point, you can go out on the end of it and you got a full view of everything on the next one over. Okay. Is it about, like this about, point right here? About 800 yards from one point to the other. And the problem that year was that it was moonlit every night. So the elk were Bed it down during the day, be up at night. And they could see. But I had gone from one point to the other point, and somebody that had followed me out on the point had stopped and glassed, and an elk stood up midday. Wow. And he took a couple shots at it, but I don't know if he got it or not. Are you talking about this point right here? Um, let's see. Yeah, this would be the first point. Okay. And there's another one behind yeah. that. Yeah, okay, I can see that. And then one. there's another one farther out. Okay. And uh, it's pretty dense. So if you're archery hunting, that would help you. Yeah. If you can find sign and get close to them. Right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Waters. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. All right. New plan. Well, kind of the same old plan, but I'm going to do it again and differently. So plan tomorrow is to drive out an hour and a half to the far east side of this unit up to get my map loaded. This lookout point. I ran into an old man up there sawing logs 
not sleeping, so actually chainsawing logs. <laughs> anyway, he told us that he had a rifle tag there a couple years ago, and he gave us a couple pointers on where to go to look, and we might just probably be spending the night there and looking around. It's kind of hell merry time, so I feel like that's as good a plan as any. Sound good? That's what we got. We'll do it. <laughs> Nothing else to do. <laughs> Straight out of Amazon, haven't even opened it. That's a man. Same here. <laughs> this one. This, this one, I haven't opened it. Oh. After I'm all set up, then you can time me. No, <laughs> Done. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, five, two seconds. Mine came with this hammer rock. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> I can tell you didn't hike it as much today. <laughs> There's all that leg power left. Or maybe I did way more hiking and built up all this power. <laughs> that can't be. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly that's not it. That doesn't even make sense. That one I probably could have stepped in. Is it rude to be on top of each other like that? It might be, but like I could care less. Okay. It's public property. It's how it happens. Okay. I mean, we were here first, and they walked up on us. <laughs> so we've been scouting it out. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I thought we should just make a break for that long ridge. Huh? You just walk it. Or maybe just stop up here for a few minutes and just look. Okay. And we'll go around. Okay. Yeah. Cool. This is our last day here in Arizona. Uh, we saw elk first thing this morning out here in this this big selection of just rolling hills almost so we're just gonna hope we can get back on those guys we started we saw them yesterday and started down this ridge and located two bulls on the other side opposite of where we were initially headed so we split off and went after them <laughs> that just turned into a big long hiking expedition so this is our last full day We'll probably just glass here for a while till the sun comes up and then maybe just work our way down that ridge looking off both sides just see if we can catch any movement and make one last go of it. So hopefully. He's right here, Marcus. You see kind of these, uh, you don't have to look with your eye. It's kind of all these, this whole thing is sand right there, all those spotches right in a row. If you look up a couple rolls over there, there's a tan spot just before it rolls into a dark cut. He's kind of out in the open, just grazing. That other guy was on the move yesterday morning. But I really feel like if we can make it over there and get on, on top of him, we can see where he goes and hopefully we can put him to bed and catch him this afternoon sleeping because right now he looks like he's still feeding this way no he's just standing there messing with those bushes there he's getting ready for next year he's just sitting there scraping you see him he's just scraping his antlers up and down that tree he must have got run out of the herd He's definitely a four by four. I can see the splits at the tip. 
but he's only his small one, but heck, if that's all we have to play with. <laughs> Edit. <Sorry. laughs> Just a four. Small one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this guy's been in the woods too long. <laughs> I think it would be better to come up from the top where we can see him and keep an eye on him. Yeah. If we cut in right now, we're going to lose track of where he's at. Yeah. I it just... looks like over there we should probably go in and kind of see where he's at and kind of work our way down. And just keep the trees between us. Yeah. Plus he ain't even pay paying attention really. I mean, for now. All right, well, let's get going. One of them knows if he's there. I don't care about Joe's back, so why he'll float off too far. What? <laughs> I don't care about you, your back's so light, he'll just float off if you fall. Oh, he's still there. He's fixing to drop down there, though. Yeah. That's pretty clear. Yeah, that's right. That's what kind of steep. I've lost sight of him. Oh, I got him. He's still up. He just can't. Is that him at the top by that tree? No. I'm trying to get a good landmark here. Okay. okay. Alright, I've got sight of his own. Just keep sight of that one bird catch. He's still up. He's just, <laughs> most of his body's covered. There's a closer one. Yeah. You see him? Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's a bigger bull. That is big. New choir. New target is required. There's a smaller one on the right. This is actually a good spot for us. Because we, we could stay, keep moving lateral and keep going down and keep your eyes on it. What we're, what we're fighting right now is going to be that sun, because once that sun comes out and we're on this hill, we're going to be a lot more visible. So we need, we need to get down by the time that sun goes. I lost him. Oh, he's on the move. This guy's on the move here. Both of them just took off. I don't know what they're running from. There's a, is that a hunter or a bear? No, they went that way. They just dropped down in there. They should be coming up any times. There's a dark spot out there just at the edge of the sun. Oh, it's just a shadow. 
they just took off they were looking backwards and then they took off kind of jogging let's keep moving because i think we lost that in the angle on the big one that we saw initially That's bigger than a three-point, boys. It's a five. That's a bull. That might be the first one we saw. It's gonna be hard to track him, huh? Kind of a flat spot over there. Let's get to that. Get in front of him and comb it back this way. Or hope he walks in front of us on our way out if he's still moving. Because yeah. even if, if he walks out right now, like we'll lose him by the time we get back down and in there. This is when a drone would come in handy. <laughs> Stupid birds are and everything. Uh, that sun comes out and hits hits a rock at a different angle, so it looks like the back of an elk. Alright. Well, let's give it a shot. It's our last day. Might as well go out swinging hard. If we can get to the right side of that knob and then just maybe comb through there slowly, hope we can hope we catch him sleeping or something, or get catch a glimpse of him as we're walking. That's, I'm trying to decide if it'd be easier to easier hiking in that gully or up here. Never hiked through gully. You're looking for the stepping stones. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Follow Joe. He's got the nose. Got it. It's going to take us too far over that way when we actually want to be going this way. Let's just get down there and see what's going on.
salt. all the vitamins and nutrients just <laughs> resetting my center. I think I'll pass. It probably is. But it definitely looks like everything comes right through here. So if we get up in there and just sit, I think we'll be alright.
and we've had nothing but 50 crows circling us. So we're gonna call that good for Arizona. This time. Carry this whole huge thing back for that tiny little crystal. It's the lag tight. Actually, you can probably break it open. There's probably a lot in there. The mother load. Sweet, I'm keeping it. Did you eat one? No. Oh. Are you going to? Yeah. I don't want to get sick. These won't make you sick. And yeah, we just possibly just scared one out of here. Yeah, couldn't even see what it was, just heard it running off. Thanks to Joe. <laughs> Joe's just watching us struggle. Eating his snacks. It's important. <laughs> He's got one job, navigation, and look, look at it. This coffee, this coffee. I mean, his, his hot cocoa. You got a warm, I like to laugh. So funny. you got a warm yoo-hoo in there. <laughs> and I think if we get to that high sunny spot and then look off that way, because it kind of curls back yeah. to our left there. Or to the south of those of you that need compass directions, Tammy. 